Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting things. The first thing is gonna be about Nick Walker. Now, as you guys know, I am a huge fan of Nick Walker, and I didn't really blame him for dropping out of Mr. Olympia this year. I blamed it more so on Matt Jensen for failing him as a coach. And I also said that I think that Nick Walker, if he was at the Mr. Olympia this year, and if he was at his best, he would have placed a second right after Samson Dauda beating Harry Chopin and Derek Lansford and Martin Fitzwater. Do I think so still? Well, today, Nick Walker posted a physique update, a current physique update, which we have not seen in a while. And I hate to say this, and this is probably how I'm gonna title this video, Nick Walker looks worse than ever. In the caption of this post, he says, I'll be right back, but will he really be right back? I mean, if you take a look at this photo right here, we have another one as well, but in this one, man, I'm actually starting to think if Matt Jensen was right. Is Nick Walker's gear actually fake? I mean, he looks, he kind of looks like he's off right now. Maybe he actually did go off. Maybe after pulling out of Mr. Olympia, he decided to clean out. Maybe because his body wasn't responding, because it was in the red zone for who knows how long, because he was blasting it for years, and he decided the best decision is to come off, to clean out, and then, when he starts prepping again, go on the gear again. Maybe, maybe, it kind of looks like that. Or his gear is actually fake. I mean... His legs are actually looking worse than ever, smaller than ever, the separation is basically non-existent, his midsection is also looking huge, I mean the waist and everything like that midsection area looks bigger compared to the rest of his body, a lot bigger than ever, this does not look like a good Nick Walker. If he was at this year's Mr. Olympia, in his, let's say, 2021 Arnold Classic shape, I think he would play second. But are we ever really gonna see this version of Nick Walker on the stage again? I don't know, man. He always had a blockier waist, but at this point, it was fine. It was good enough. I mean, his abs were very good, so it was kind of a, a strong point for him at the time. And yeah, the legs are always a weaker area, but when his waist was smaller, they didn't appear to be that much smaller compared to his upper body, compared to the rest of his body. And somewhere along the way, things kinda went sideways. This is the, the other photo that he posted, and here also you can see basically his legs smaller and less conditioned, less separated than ever. Midsection not looking very good. And basically, his overall hardness, conditioning, fullness, everything is gone for some reason. I mean, he actually looks like he's not on the gear. This is the worst. I have seen Nick Walker, I don't know, since I've been following him, really. And I said before that, like, it seemed like he never went off so far. Because he always looked freaking impressive in the offseason or, of course, in the contest prep. He always looked at least like big, massive, full, hard, round. But at this point, no, man, it's not looking very good. I honestly hope that he is off right now or actually his gear is fake and he's gonna try and find a new source, better source. So he actually cleaned out. If his gear is actually fake, that's probably the best thing that ever happened to him. Or if he decided to go off uh, after pulling out of Mr. Olympia, because here he definitely looks like he's off. Uh, if that is the case, then maybe if he stays off for a little while, maybe his waist actually shrinks a little. And then when he hops back on, his body is going to respond better than before. And maybe his legs will grow as well. But I'm also pretty sure that he, if he was actually off... He would probably say it, and I think he would be talking about it all the time. I think he would have an excuse for looking this bad, but he didn't say anything, so maybe he's actually on something, but his body is still not responding. Also, the lighting here is not the most flattering lighting. We can be 100% sure that Derek Lansford would never take a photo at this spot with this lighting. You know, so Nick is transparent, he's showing us exactly what is going on, so we got that at least, we have a very clear picture, 
But yeah, not good. Not good. Probably the worst I ever seen Nick look in the past five years or so. Will he really come back better than ever? Or is this basically the end of uh, Nick Walker's career? Is he gonna just continue getting worse and worse and you know drop down in place? If he does the Mr. Olympia again, which he won't do unless he's happy with his look, I guess. Anyways, down below in the comment section, guys, tell me what do you think about uh, Nick Walker's physique right now and what do you think is the future for him? All right, the next thing we got is a new physique update from Regan Grimes. Now, I know a bunch of you guys are really bored with Regan Grimes' updates and basically repeating the same thing every time, but Regan still does have a lot of fans who want to see his physique update, so this is for you guys. If you don't care about Regan, just skip this section. And as far as Regan right now, in this update, he didn't say his weight. You know, <laughs> he usually says that he's like uh, 295, 297, 301, 294. He's always, uh, you know, cruising around that uh, same weight. And uh, his plan in this offseason was to grow, get big, and then prep. But in this physique update, he says that he is a few months away from starting his prep. So I'm guessing he is prepping for the spring shows, maybe Arnold Classic as well. Now, of course, we have to answer the question... Did he make progress? No, no, I, I don't see any progress here. He just kept getting softer and softer, and here he doesn't look hard, and he doesn't look super big. He looks like usual Regan Grimes in the offseason. Only, I guess, a little bit softer than usual. So maybe he is off the gear as well or maybe his gear is fake too i don't know but i don't think so i think regan is just not super focused on making as much progress as possible you guys know that he became a father he has other interests or or businesses so he's not exactly tunnel vision like some of these guys in the open and he needs to be like that if he wants to be if he wants to reach his maximum potential and actually reach the top the way he's looking right now, you know, I guess when he starts prepping, he's going to start to look more and more impressive. But in the end, I don't think he's going to look much different from last year. I think he basically reached his potential with this approach to bodybuilding. If he really wanted to take it to another level, he would have to, you know, go next level in terms of training, eating and doing everything else, doing everything necessary, doing whatever it takes, which it seems like he is not willing to do because you can see right here he doesn't look very impressive you know nothing nothing new nothing crazy from Regan Grimes in the offseason uh, we'll see maybe he's saving himself to really push for the mass in the last couple of months before he starts the prep and then really push it in the prep maybe he's gonna be I think he's going to be a little bit better but no I don't think we'll see Regan at his full potential uh, next year all right, and the last thing we got, and this is probably going to be the last video on this topic, I want to put this to bed, uh, because in my previous video, I felt like a lot of you guys didn't really understand what I was trying to say, and maybe I didn't really express myself uh, the best way possible, but today we actually got the, the full video, I mean, not the full video, but a longer video that Jeff actually filmed himself. So originally, Jeff only posted a part where Mike assaults him, but now we got this part as well, after Mike uh, told him uh, sup or whatever while uh, Jeff was doing his set and uh, he decided to stop the set and go towards Mike as you can see right here let me play this for you hey Mike let's go over here so in my previous video I said that uh, Jeff lied to us and a lot of you guys didn't really see it that way and now i can kind of see why you thought i was wrong so basically jeff's statement was there is already a lie going around that mike asked me to stay away from him and that i didn't listen and approach him first this is false and there is security footage that uh, shows it that proves it so so what jeff said here is that it's false that he approached him first and yeah, I guess now I can see that uh, he didn't really lie, but I can say that he kind of omitted a part of the whole truth. So no, Jeff did not approach Mike first. Mike is the first who walked past Jeff 
and told him apparently sup and and that things are about to get uh, really funny or whatever and he walked past him and he went to train his client but jeff decided to go over to mike i guess to ask him what is the problem to try and solve whatever so maybe it doesn't uh, escalate later so he doesn't get i don't know attacked at a parking lot or something i understand what jeff did and why he did it he is definitely not in the wrong here i never said that i never justified mike for what he did some of you guys are saying that i'm uh, defending him because i'm sponsored by fuad that doesn't make any sense because fuad doesn't really care what i say in my videos my channel is too small for him to really care what i say he doesn't watch my videos and personally i don't like mike I never liked him before, and I said that actually in the comments of what's podcast, I actually said I would like it to be somebody else because Mike is too boring and he is not really into bodybuilding uh, that much. I never really said it uh, to Fuad, but I also said to you guys that, you know, I don't like what Mike does, like, he always hates on everybody, he always uh, does those kind of rage videos, he's against everything, he's just hating on everybody, full of rage, I don't like the guy, I never really defended him, I don't think what he did here is right, all I ever said is that Jeff lied to us by saying that uh, Jeff did not approach him first, and I guess I was wrong with that. Mike is the first who start, who, who initiated the whole thing because he walked past him. He didn't really go to him. He walked past him, probably accidentally. You know, Jeff was on his way. Mike was going to the, to the lat machine right there and Jeff was simply along the way and he did say something to him. So you can say that he started the whole thing, he approached him first. But I guess now it's clear that Jeff never should have approached him because if he stayed away, this incident would never happen. I understand that Jeff thought he can still talk to Mike and I, I'm sure he didn't expect to be assaulted because Mike, he, he, he is not a normal person. I mean, who would attack a, a person in the, in the public gym with cameras all over the place just for, I don't know, saying some negative stuff about him in a video, in an Instagram reel? Now, Lee Priest, in a, in a recent Manage podcast, uh, before this footage was released, uh, knew the whole thing, knew exactly what happened, he already heard everything, he described this video before it was out, and he also said that he heard that Jeff sent some uh, nasty messages to Mike on Instagram. I mean, I don't know where Lee got that, I don't know if there's any truth to that, it doesn't sound like Jeff, but I don't know these guys personally. That's just what I heard from Lee. I wanted to share it with you guys as well. And back to my original point. So, yeah, I guess Jeff did not lie, in fact. Mike did start the whole thing by saying, sup, and this is about to get real funny really soon. I guess that was the start of the whole thing, but also Jeff did go up to Mike after that. Was he wrong for doing that? Absolutely not. If I was Jeff, would I do that? Probably not. I probably wouldn't poke the bear, I wouldn't risk getting in a fight with that guy. But I guess Jeff was convinced that uh, he can just go up to him and talk to him. But no, no, it's not always like that. And he learned a valuable lesson, I guess. There are people who are not exactly normal, who you can't just talk to after they said something bad to you and resolve the problem with, with talking, some people will actually attack you. Mike is a bully, for sure. I mean, there are guys who approach him on the expos, guys who are bigger than Mike, taller than Mike, or his same size, and he never attacked them. He attacked this guy who is like five foot two, who he knew can defend himself against Mike, and who wouldn't fight back. So I'm definitely not justifying what Mike did. It was absolutely wrong. But there is also this moment where Jeff said, let's go over there and started walking towards Mike with a camera after Mike told him what he told him. So again, I guess Jeff didn't really lie, but he should have mentioned in his statement that he walked up to him after Mike initiated the, the conversation or the conflict. So that's all I gotta say about the situation, I hope this is gonna be the end of it and we can just move on to pure bodybuilding, which is definitely something I enjoy way more talking about than this social media drama, incidents, whatever, but that's my take on it, the final take, I think, whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section, if you enjoyed this video guys, give it a thumbs up and please, subscribe to my channel, thank you guys so much for watching, see you soon, all the best and bye bye.